new developments in the four-month-old disappearance of a Missouri baby. The girl's parents are now breaking their silence, saying they're hopeful their daughter is still alive. NBC's Lilia Luciano has details on that. Lilia, good morning to you. Good morning, Matt. Baby Lisa disappeared four months ago from her home in a case that's gripped the nation and turned this quiet Kansas City neighborhood upside down. Now her parents are speaking out in an emotional interview. Four months later, and there are still no answers in the baffling case of baby Lisa. After keeping a low profile, Deborah Bradley and Jeremy Irwin have broken their silence. It's not a joke. It is not a circus. It is not a game. This is my baby. Talking about life without their daughter. It's really, really hard um, because every day I wake up and I, I think about her. And when I go to sleep, I think about her. And it's almost everything I can do to stay sane. In an emotional interview with Dr. Phil, the couple answered tough questions about the disappearance of their 10-month-old infant, who they say vanished from her crib in the middle of the night. They absolutely insist that they do not know what has happened with this baby. Deborah has admitted she had several drinks the night Lisa was reported missing and doesn't remember when she last checked on her. That night, Jeremy was working his first overnight shift as an electrician. When he returned home around 4 a.m., Lisa was gone. Police launched an extensive search of the area, seemingly leaving no stone unturned. Still, questions have been raised about discrepancies in Deborah and Jeremy's account of that night. You reported that the lights in the house were turned off and you went to bed. Jeremy comes home at 4 a.m. and all the lights are on. Now, obviously, whoever took the baby wouldn't go through the house and turn the lights yeah. on. Were you just wrong about that? Was Jeremy wrong? Another. When he came in the bedroom that morning and woke me up and said all the lights are on in the house, it was a total exaggeration. Kansas City police continue to investigate Lisa's disappearance, but say the couple has not cooperated fully, telling NBC News, Deborah Bradley and Jeremy Irwin have not sat down to talk with detectives separately as we need. That's an important step that needs to be taken for the case to move forward, and we're hopeful they will do that. The parents say they are trying to remain hopeful that someday baby Lisa will come home to their family. And then my boys, um, they talk about her all the time and they ask about her and I just keep telling them, you know, we're never going to stop looking, we're going to find her. Police have not named a suspect. They say that although the quantity and quality of tips has decreased, the case remains very much open and they are actively investigating. Matt. Lilia Luciano in Kansas City this morning for us. Lilia, thank you very much. There are